Hi, my name is Jessica Daniel. I'm a women's A uh, off-road racer here with Dirt Bike Test today. Um, did a little bit of testing between four brands and I'm standing in front of the bike that I chose to be number one today. Um, reasoning for that was definitely the noticeable components on there was suspension um, and the motor, the power band, everything about the power band, the power that it was giving um, from bottom end to top end uh, was consistent and available. Um, suspension was extremely ideal. Um, everything about it was super plush as soon as it took the initial hit. I would think another pro that I noticed out of it was the the chassis and the way that the, the setup is on the bike. Um, for me being a smaller person, uh, around 5'5 five, five size, it's it's really ideal to have the foot pegs and everything so compact uh, makes the bike a little bit smaller for me. So handling everything and having it manageable for any quick twitch adjustment or anything, any chatter, any rough condition is it made for a bike um, to be manageable underneath me and, and more controllable. So um, definitely in the higher speeds, uh, it's more confident. You get a lot more confidence um, going that way, right? Yeah, cons, uh, something I noticed I didn't, I didn't uh, mesh well with the bike with was uh, the handling on the, on the motocross track. Uh, it definitely is a bit heavier and tougher to go into corners. It didn't handle very well. I just kind of wanted to stay upright. Um, technical riding, the heaviness uh, definitely played into effect. Going through rocks and going through smaller technical terrain, it definitely creates a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, to get through that stuff so the but with the high speeds uh, it the weight of the bike was more favorable uh, just to keep the bike grounded it felt planted it felt you know underneath me it wasn't going anywhere so that that stability out of high speeds is definitely a win for the stock foot pegs they were pretty grippy I didn't lose my feet um, it felt good I was able to keep my feet planted to the bike at all times. Uh, brake, I wouldn't say is the strongest brake of the four that we rode today, but there wasn't anything to complain about. It definitely, you know, did its purpose going into corners, um, doing any kind of stopping that I needed to do. Um, the clutch was, was indifferent. I, I'm indifferent about it. it uh, it's a cable clutch. Uh, and it was easy to handle. It was consistent, it had a consistent feel to it. My second pick on the bike test today uh, would be the Gas Gas 250, the EX250. I, I personally ride a KTM, so that was kind of the most familiar feel to me uh, with the chassis, the setup, uh, the clutch, the power band, um, the braking system, the weight, the handling, everything about it was very familiar to me. Um, the, the good thing about it that I like, the pros that I, I like out of this is definitely the handling, uh, especially through technical and definitely through motocross. I think any kind of terrain that you do tackle, it, it handles well. You go into corners really well. It wants to, um, it wants to be there for you like turning in whatever direction it needs to um any technical riding it's it's easy to it's so lightweight easy to get around rocks easy to move it where you need to um with the clutch control so that was something that i do um favor on the gas gas and uh all, yeah clutch component the hydraulic clutch is definitely a, a massive win there um suspension would would be uh, my biggest con about the bike with the air forks, it, it doesn't seem to take uh, initial impact very well on, on hard chatter. So anything with high speeds, it doesn't really respond very well as compared to the other bikes that we rode today. So um, the power band is good for high speeds. I, it lacked a little bit of bottom end, uh, especially on the motocross track. But I felt that was favorable in the technical areas too because it wasn't very peppery, it wasn't very strong-willed, so. Honda, Honda would be my third choice as far as comfortability and 
everything about the bike that was noticeable. I will be honest, I didn't notice too many things on the bike that stood out that caught my attention um, that I had a say about, um, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, there definitely wasn't anything negative about it that wouldn't change my mind from buying one. It was, it's a skinny bike, it's a lightweight bike, it handles pretty decently well on the motocross track and especially through the technicality. Uh, definitely allows you to kind of put the bike where you want it. The power band was consistent, it was good. Um, it wasn't as powerful as the Yamaha I feel, but it definitely did not lack any power if I was looking for it. And with the two maps, it definitely creates a adjustability for the kind of style of riding you're doing. Um, Cause I did the aggressive map and it turned out to be a little more favorable map wise on the, or power wise on the, on the main track, the motocross track with the regular map. It just seemed a bit smoother, a little bit more controllable for me. Um, braking system wasn't uh, terrible at all. It was definitely did what it needed to do um, in that sense. Uh, it wasn't anything that I had any thoughts on that created any complications and corners or anything like that. So something about the chassis of the bike, it, this is one of the frames where it does feel, you, you feel a little bit smaller on, on that frame. Um, and so for a smaller rider like myself, uh, going through any high speed or any um, quick twitch adjustability that you have to make on the bike, it feels like it's a little bit, it'll get away from you a little bit more um, compared to the Yamaha. The, it, it just seems like if something goes wrong, it's, it's a little bit bigger to steer. So cable clutch on this bike was definitely the strongest to manage out of all the 250s, but it was very consistent and very responsive. So I appreciate that aspect out of that. Cowie is the number four today on, on the list. Uh, I did really like the high RPM power band. Um, that definitely is identical to the Austrian gas gas KTMs. Um, it allows you to really get a lot of power, a lot of speed out of the motor on the high speed. So with off-road, uh, that would really do well. That would be something that is, is favorable. The power band is consistent throughout. So I, I do like how consistent the power band is from bottom end, top end. It was not favorable in the technical riding. I had a little bit of a hard time today going through some of the rocks just with the, the clutch control. Um, in the power band, you know, as soon as the clutch engages, it was a little bit tough to control that straight off the bat um, without any comfortability or previous, you know, experience on the bike. Uh, I did stall a few times going through some of the rocks that had a little bit slower speed, but <laughs> indifferent about the clutch, <laughs> definitely. The levers are really skinny. They have a skinny feel. It has a very unique feel to the brake. I didn't really like that too much. Uh, I wasn't. I, I did notice it, uh, the clutch was so skinny and it wasn't in a way where I thought it made it better. Um, the bike is really lightweight, uh, very easy to handle on the motocross track, very nimble. It just allows you to, you know, have that grip between your legs, like squeezing with your knees. It does well in that area, so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the Cowie definitely shines in the higher RPM range. It definitely at higher speeds. Um, that's where the bike seems to be happy. So um, in the off-road sense, if you're in that area, it's definitely um, a bike to consider if you're looking for high speeds and high RPM range. Yeah, overall experience was amazing. This is the first time I've really done a test um, and I'm extremely grateful to got, got the opportunity with their bike test today. Um, I, it taught me a lot as a rider just because I haven't necessarily experienced too much with different brands. Um, so being able to experience the same same size motor on different brands is really huge uh, personally for me. So I get to understand and be able to put what I'm feeling on the bike into words and to ultimately um, kind of bounce ideas off of other people and, and get feedback there so I can kind of understand that. I think that goes a long way. And I also think there's a lot of takeaways from testing different brands, um, just seeing 
what brands are competitive where, um, how, you know, how they're stepping up the game in the industry. So I think that's important and it just, it serves everybody. So it, it's a really, there's nothing more than running and testing. It's, it's a good experience. Could I race all these bikes bone stock? I could, 100%, I will make it around the track. <laughs> Competitively, I would feel comfortable racing the top three. I would be a little bit hesitant on the Cali, but any of these three bikes, Honda, Gas Gas, Yamaha, I would definitely line up on a stock bike and be ready to go and feel confident to compete and put in a good result. Overall, today was a really good day. We had a lot of great takeaways. Everything was positive. They are all really good bikes. Um, some I definitely adapted better to than others. I definitely would have an easy time choosing any of these bikes and 